Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm taking you on a snowy adventure to Japan for winter. From breathtaking snow festivals to stunning natural wonders, Japan transforms into a magical winter wonderland during this season. I'm your expert tour guide, and I'm here to share with you 10 must-see places that will make your winter trip to Japan unforgettable. Sapporo Snow Festival. First up, we have the iconic Sapporo Snow Festival. This world-renowned event features incredible snow and ice sculptures, some reaching towering heights. Immerse yourself in the vibrant atmosphere, enjoy delicious food stalls, and even try your hand at snow carving. When? Held annually in February for one week. Where? Sapporo, Hokkaido. How to get there? Easily accessible from Tokyo by Shinkansen bullet train, which takes about four hours. Tips. The festival is divided into three main sites, Odori Park, Susukino, and Sudome. Each site has its own unique atmosphere and attractions. Dress warmly. Temperatures can drop below freezing, especially at night. Purchase a festival map to help you navigate the sites and find the sculptures you're most interested in. Be prepared for crowds, especially on weekends. Zhao Juhyo Snow Monsters. Next, we're heading to the Zhao Mountains. Here, you'll encounter a breathtaking natural phenomenon called the Zhao Juhyo. These snow monsters are massive, snow-covered trees transformed by the harsh winter winds. Take a ropeway ride to the top of the mountain for the best views and an unforgettable winter wonderland experience. Where? Zhao Mountains, Yamagata Prefecture. How to get there? Take a scenic train ride from Yamagata Station, followed by a short bus ride. Tips. The best time to see the Zhao Juyo is from January to February. The ropeway runs from December to early March, weather permitting. There are several hiking trails available in the area if you're looking for a more active experience. Be aware of the altitude and dress accordingly. Jigokudani Monkey Park. Now let's experience something truly unique, watching snow monkeys relax in a natural hot spring. At Jigokudani Monkey Park, you can observe these adorable primates as they soak in the warm water amidst the snowy landscape. This is a truly heartwarming sight and a popular destination for winter visitors. Where? Jigokudani Monkey Park, Nagano Prefecture. How to get there? Take the Shinkansen bullet train to Nagano Station, followed by a bus ride. Tips, the monkeys are most active in the morning and afternoon. There is a viewing platform where you can observe the monkeys. Please be respectful of the monkeys and do not feed them. The park is located in a mountainous area, so be sure to wear appropriate footwear. Nibbana no Sato Illumination. For a dazzling winter spectacle, head to Nibbana no Sato in Mie. This botanical garden transforms into a mesmerizing wonderland with millions of colorful lights. Walk through illuminated tunnels, marvel at the vibrant flower displays, and witness a stunning water light show. When? Held annually from November to early May. Where? Nibbana no Sato, Mie Prefecture. How to get there? Take a direct train from Nagoya Station to Nibbana no Sato Station. Tips. The illumination is best seen after dark. Purchase your tickets in advance to avoid long lines. There are several restaurants and shops on site. Be prepared for crowds, especially on weekends. Ginzan Onsen. Traveling to Ginzan Onsen is like stepping into a fairy tale. This traditional hot spring village nestled in the snowy mountains boasts charming wooden ryokans and gas-lit streets. Relax in the steaming hot springs, savor delicious local cuisine, and enjoy the peaceful winter atmosphere. Where? Ginzan Onsen, Yamagata Prefecture. How to get there? Take the Shinkansen bullet train to Oishida Station, followed by a short bus ride. Tips. Book your ryokan accommodation well in advance, as this is a popular destination. Many ryokans offer traditional kaiseki meals, which are a multi-course culinary experience. Oiras River. Nature lovers, rejoice. The Oiras River is a winter wonderland with snow-covered trees and crystal-clear waters. Take a relaxing walk along the riverbank admire the frozen waterfalls, and enjoy the serene winter landscape. Where? Oiras Gorge, Aomori Prefecture. How to get there? Take the Oiras Karyu bus from Aomori Station. Tips. The best time to visit the Oiras River is during the day, when the sunlight reflects off the snow and creates a magical atmosphere. There are several trails of varying lengths, so you can choose the one that best suits your fitness level. Be aware of the slippery conditions and wear appropriate footwear. 
pack a picnic lunch to enjoy along the riverbank. Shirahige Falls. For a truly magical sight, visit Shirahige Falls in the winter. This picturesque waterfall transforms into a towering beard of ice, creating a breathtaking spectacle. Hike through the snowy forest, marvel at the frozen cascade, and capture stunning photographs. Where? Shirahige Falls, Nagano Prefecture. How to get there? Take a bus from Nagano Station. Tips. The best time to see Shirahige Falls is in the morning, when the sun shines on the ice and creates a beautiful rainbow effect. The walk to the falls is short and easy, making it a great option for families with young children. There is a small observation platform where you can get close to the falls. Dress warmly, as the area around the falls can be quite windy. Shirakawa Go. Immerse yourself in traditional Japanese culture at Shirakawa Go. This UNESCO World Heritage Site features gasho-style farmhouses with steep thatched roofs, blanketed in snow during winter. Explore the village, experience the local lifestyle, and enjoy the peaceful winter atmosphere. Where? Shirakawa Go, Gifu Prefecture. How to get there? Take a train from Nagoya Station, followed by a bus ride. Tips. The best time to visit Shirakawa Go is in the early morning or late afternoon, when the village is less crowded. Many of the gasho-style farmhouses are open to the public, so you can go inside and see how they are traditionally decorated. There are several hiking trails in the area, offering stunning views of the village. Be sure to try some of the local cuisine, such as hoba miso, grilled miso paste on a magnolia leaf. Lake Tawada. For a serene and picturesque winter escape, visit Lake Tawada. This volcanic lake surrounded by snow-capped mountains is a stunning sight. Take a cruise on the lake, enjoy winter sports activities, or simply relax and soak in the natural beauty. Where? Lake Tawada, Aomori Prefecture. How to get there? Take a train from Aomori Station, followed by a bus ride. Tips. The lake is particularly beautiful in the morning, when the mist rises from the water and creates a mystical atmosphere. There are several boat tours available, offering different perspectives of the lake. If you're feeling adventurous, you can try your hand at ice fishing or snowshoeing. There are several hot springs resorts in the area where you can relax and soak in the warm water after a day of exploring. Tohoku Ski Resorts. Lastly, for the adrenaline junkies, Japan's winter wouldn't be complete without some skiing or snowboarding. Tohoku, the northernmost region of Japan, boasts some of the country's best ski resorts with powdery snow and challenging slopes. Where? Tohoku region, Japan. How to get there? There are several airports in Tohoku, making it easily accessible from major cities. Tips. Choose a ski resort that best suits your skill level. Book your accommodations and ski rentals in advance, as these can get booked up quickly. Be sure to dress warmly and wear appropriate gear. Take lessons if you're a beginner, as this will help you improve your skills and avoid injuries. After a day on the slopes, relax in one of the many hot springs resorts in the area. I hope this video has inspired you to plan your winter trip to Japan. With its breathtaking scenery, unique winter experiences, and delicious food. Which of these destinations are on your bucket list? Write in the comments. If you're not subscribed yet, Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to activate the notifications so you can get more information and curiosities about this beautiful country as soon as we post new videos. Thank you for watching.